as for celebrating the night of the 15th Shaban. Before I mention the hadith because time is up, dear brothers, but I will summarize the subject as possible. The man who seeks redemption from his sins, and seeks entering into the vastness of the Divine Mercy. He looks for every possible way for this. Yes. Similarly as a man is drowning, and death is so close to him, when he finds only a small thread, he immediately clings to it because it may rescue his life, doesn't he? Well, suppose that I know a weak hadith about the virtue of the night of 15th Shaban. And when a man performs the night prayer and supplicates to Allah, Allah surely forgives him, and bestows his mercy upon him, and gives him whatever he asks. What will you mind decide? What does your cautious sense tell you? It makes you say, I'll do this indeed. If this is an authentic hadith, Allah grants me from his blessings as the Messenger of Allah has promised, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. And if it is not an authentic one, Allah knows my intention. I say, O oh Allah I has known that your Prophet said so and so. And I do this, hoping that he truly said this, so I ask you to grant me what your Messenger promised us. Isn't this the question? If we know this. And Al Bayaki narrated in an incomplete transmission Sinad Mursal, that. But he said it is among the transmissions of Allah ibn al Hayroth from the Lady Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. He said, this is a good transmission. Lady Aisha says, through the transmission of Allah ibn al Hayroth. One night, the Messenger of Allah performed Qiyam, then he prostrated and stayed along prostrating. To the extent that I thought him passed away. When I saw him so, I moved one of his toes, so he moved and then I stepped backward. And then I heard him saying in his prostration, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in your pardon from your punishment. And I seek refuge in your pleasure with thus from your wrath. And seek refuge in you from you. I cannot enumerate your praises as you praise yourself. When he finished prostrating and his prayer, he said, O oh Aisha, have you thought that the Prophet discarded you? He means he left you alone and went to one of his other wives. She said, No, O oh the Messenger of Allah, but I feared that you passed away because you stayed too long prostrating. He said, Do you know what is this night? She said, Allah and his Messenger knows best. He said, it's the night of 15th Shaban, Allah the Exalted looks at his slaves and says, Is there any beggar of forgiveness so that he be forgiven? Is there any one seeks mercy so that he be mercerized? And he let people who bear malice in their hearts as they are, not forgiving them. Imam al Haki narrated this and said, It is a good merciful hadith from the transmissions of Allah ibn al -Hayroth. Well. If I am now in a dire need for having the mercy of Allah the Lord of the universe, and I am a needy man seeks his mercy and grace, what should I do then? I leave away this hadith, saying, no dot 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 it's a weak hadith. Then I go to sleep and surrender to rest, and go into deep sleeping till the dawn prayer. By Allah, the true believer who fears Allah does not do this. And the believer whom Allah grants him even a small amount of love to his Lord and Creator, never does this. But he eagerly looks for any means to please him. Oh listen! There is a narrated hadith. I'll indeed do this thing. 